France has charged Telegram founder Pavel Durov with a litany of violations related to the messaging application and banned him from leaving the country while allowing the billionaire to walk free after four days under arrest. A French judge put Pavel Durov under formal investigation, granting conditional release on, against a bail of 5 million euros and on the condition that he must report to a police station twice a week remaining in France. Following a hearing with investigating magistrates in Paris, 39-year-old Durov has been charged on several counts of failing to curb extremist and illegal content on the popular messaging app. He has also been charged with refusing to share documents demanded by the authorities, dissemination in an organized group of messages of um, minors in child pornography as well as drug trafficking, fraud and money laundering. His lawyer said it was absurd to suggest that Durov could be implicated in any crime committed on the app. Adding that Telegram complies in all respects with European rules concerning digital technology. And finally, I'd like to add that it's totally absurd to think that the head of a social network could be involved in criminal acts that don't concern him either directly or indirectly. Meanwhile, the Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova declared that the arrest of the Telegram founder has caused shock throughout the world. Listen in. This story is not only about Russia's reaction. We reacted as Russian diplomats were obliged to react in this case, when it was about the detention of a Russian citizen. But it seems to me that, well, it would not be an exaggeration to say that the whole world experienced a greater shock than ever before from the actions of representatives of the collective West. Separately, the Rov is also reportedly being investigated on suspicion of serious acts of violence towards one of his children. While he and the boy's mother, Durov's ex-partner, were in Paris, she filed another complaint against Durov in Switzerland last year. Russian-born Durov was arrested in Paris late Saturday and questioned in subsequent days under arrest by investigators. Being placed under formal investigation in France does not imply guilt or necessarily lead to trial. Investigations can last years before being sent to trial or shelved. Meanwhile, amid this route, the UAE has reportedly suspended the deal with France for the supply of 80 Rafale fighter planes. UAE has been closely following the case of Pavel Durov, who is an Emirati citizen. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.